welcome to sourcecat uh, chances are that you migrated to autocad 2015 and you are still accustomed to working with autocad classic workspace and when you go to the drop down menu and try to have a search for autocad classic workspace you find nothing so here only we have the three workspaces don't fret there is a method that you can use to import it into your AutoCAD 2015 as well from your older versions. So in this tutorial I will tell you about those two methods, two easy methods by which you can import AutoCAD Classic Workspace into AutoCAD 2015. Now let's try with the easier method first. Start your AutoCAD 2015 and first thing is you need to remove this ribbon from it so and the another thing is you need to import all the toolbars okay so let's go and do this first let's click on this drop down menu the customize quick access toolbar and click on this show menu bar as soon as you will do this you will see that this menu bar appears now go to tools and palettes and ribbon so now we have now we don't have ribbons in our view and it's been hidden so now let's go and add the toolbars suppose I want to add certain toolbars like draw layer modify dimension and other ones so I'll add all these four toolbars so go to tools the toolbars AutoCAD and now from here you can add all the toolbars that you want So now let's go and add dimension tools toolbar AutoCAD draw tools toolbar AutoCAD and now let's go and add layers tools toolbar AutoCAD now let's go and add modify so now we are we are having all the three things all the four toolbars here draw modify dimension layers and you can go on and add all other remaining toolbars that you want and your workspace will look exactly like the one which you have in AutoCAD Classic and still you are in the drafting and annotation workspace so you don't have to switch to another workspace and still with the drafting and annotation workspace you can use the classic features of previous version so this was one of the methods now if you want to import directly your AutoCAD Classic workspace into AutoCAD 2015 you can do that also for doing that I'll first switch back to the original configuration okay so now again we are into the normal uh, workspace of drafting and annotation in AutoCAD 2015 now let's go and add AutoCAD classic to this using the import method so we are going to import it from AutoCAD 2013 so for importing first you need to save that AutoCAD classic workspace dot cuix on your desktop or any other location so for that I will open AutoCAD 2013 or all any previous version which you have and now go to manage ribbon and cause customization panel and user interface then go to transfer tab customize user interface window and now let's go and here we have the default configuration acad.cuix make sure that it is, it is selected and now go on and click on save as so click on save as and now here you need to specify the name so I'm going to specify any name in this case I'm specifying a name of A B C and D so we are going to use this name A B C D you can specify any random name as you wish now go on and select save now you can go on and click OK and now let's go and open AutoCAD 2015 now here also you need to go to manage ribbon and then CUI now transfer tab on customize user interface window now here on this customization new file on the side you need to click on this open customization file icon now click on this icon and locate the cuix file that you saved so here is the file abcd.cuix which i have saved on my desktop double click to open it and now here you can see all the four workspaces including autocad classic since we are interested in importing AutoCAD Classic only, so go on and drag it and drop it. But before making this drag and drop, make sure that ACAD.CUIX is selected here, the default configuration, ACAD.CUIX. And once you have made this drag and drop, 
So all the three workspaces along with AutoCAD Classic is now into your AutoCAD 2015. Let's go and check it. So go on, click on OK. And now let's click on this drag drop down menu and okay here we have the AutoCAD Classic and now you can switch back to AutoCAD Classic from here or here, here as well click on AutoCAD Classic and here we are into our classic interface of AutoCAD now I hope these tutorials are clear to you if you have any doubt please let me in the comment box and once again thanks for watching